Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Dorbin 83AN door sweep. This is what it looks like in profile. As you can see, it's an extremely large door sweep. Aluminum extrusion, very long piece of uh, synthetic rubber or neoprene. It smells like car tire, the rubber that a car tire is made from. You can see a bit of the adhesive that's used to hold the neoprene onto the aluminum extrusion. Okay, This is a large, very, very large door sweep. Let's get the tape measure and check some dimensions. Um, Dorbin has an overall height of 3 inch, and that means, um, you know, it doesn't mean anything, but what, what we've got here is about an inch and a quarter on the extrusion, inch and 3 sixteenths, as you can see, with an overall height of three inch even though this piece is a little bit long on three inch. Eighth inch thick neoprene. Okay. Available in different colors on the website. Now a door sweep like this is not commonly used in new construction because something with you know two and three quarter worth of exposed seal um, is not a typical application regarding an undercut of a door. A sweep like this is used, uh, in my experience, more commonly as a, uh, an item used to, to correct or to remedy a certain situation. Like if you have an excessive undercut uh, under the door or if you have an unusual floor condition at the bottom of a, of a frame. Um, or uh, some people um, do like to use uh, sweeps like this install them a bit higher on the door so that they've got, depending on their flooring condition, a, a, a sweep sort of uh, 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 condition where this is going to come across the bottom of the floor and then detail or contour itself to some sort of an unusual threshold condition. Um, some people install these to correct a corroding uh, condition at the bottom of a door as well or a situation where doors have been undercut improperly um, after the fact. or there are situations when, uh, in say the basement of a condominium building, where uh, a utility door has to open up, but by the time it gets to halfway open, it has to overcome some sort of very unusual uh, condition, uh, like a flooring uh, uh, situation. Um, you know, some sort of a uh, a, a sloped. Uh, you know, situation to the floor so that when they get, you know, a, 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 a door sweep like this, you can help account for uh, an unusual circumstance like that. Available in several different lengths on the website. If you have need for a custom length, by all means, let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and indicating in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut it back to. Meaning, if you had to make this 36 inch piece, uh, say if you had to cut it down to 32 inch, you'd eliminate that slotted hole. And those slotted holes are nice for that vertical, that small amount of vertical adjustment that you can get on a door. So if you order a custom length, we'll locate the slotted holes in the proper dimension from the edge, but also the proper center to center as well. Screws are included. They look like they're a, like a truss head number eight by one inch, something in that range, and a complimentary finish. Good quality company, Dorbin. They've been in business for several decades. Uh, the screws, when you're installing it, they're going to pierce through the back side of the neoprene. Okay? You probably want to pre-drill that first. You don't try to run that screw through that neoprene. You don't want to give a kink or a kick to that, that neoprene. Uh, so the screw is going to help you know, keep the, the, the solid neoprene to the, to the back of the extrusion. So pre-drill that if you can uh, and use a center punch before you start drilling the, the door as well. If you have any questions on the door, an 83AN. Uh, door sweep, solid neoprene, or any other Dorbin product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.